Hey guys, Dan Hood, Big DH2000 here. Just realized something that I've never bothered to put in any of my uh, tips and tricks videos. And I went, somebody asked me about it the other day, and I went to quickly look for a YouTube video on it to show them what I meant. And surprisingly, I couldn't find anything on YouTube either. So... Let's get on with it then. See my scroll saw here? It used to be I cut aluminum cores with my scroll saw before I got my band saw. Now, don't get me wrong. It's way easier with the band saw. Okay? Um, just the blades work better. They're longer. They don't get heated up as much. Uh, all kinds of things. But I have cut up to half an inch of aluminum on a normal scroll saw okay it's slow but you can actually do it several things I advise flying Dutchman blades okay they're one of the best I've ever found somebody put me on to them I thought they were crazy because they're not the most expensive but I got some and I tried them out now I would get this B intro pack because it's got a wide range of sizes, but if you if you're tight on money or something like that, um, I found the number seven seems to be the best one to use. Now you try a few and you you figure it out for yourself because every scroll saw is a little different. Every person who uses a scroll saw pushes a little different, does things a little different. When you push, make sure that blade is as close to vertical in every direction. Because if you're pushing too hard, it'll bend, 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 and eventually it'll snap. Okay? That's the first trick. Here's a piece of aluminum I cut with a scroll saw. Okay? I've got my form on the front. You're probably wondering what the green stuff is. You can use any painter's tape you want. Okay? I just happened to get this at Home Depot. Bought it for a paint job I needed to do in one of the kids' rooms and just started using it down here. It sounds crazy, but paint, uh, painter's tape and a, a, a lot of tapes actually have lubrication in them or anti-stick in them. Now that sounds completely contradictory. I mean, it's tape. It's supposed to stick to stuff. But have you, especially if you look at painter's tape, you notice how it just barely sticks so that you can remove it without causing problems? There's, a, there's, they, it, it's lubricated a little bit or it's got some anti-stick in it to reduce the stickiness of the glue. Surprisingly, you put it on the bottom of aluminum. Now, in my case, I put a layer between this template as well. You don't have to. What you can, if you have drawn a template on, just put packing tape on the top of it, which is clear and see-through. And packing tape is also the plastic and all of that in it. It lubricates it. You don't even have to use oil, and you just slowly feed it. And if you don't believe me, do a piece of get two pieces of aluminum the same size. You know, cut them for one inch or something. Mark an inch or something like that. Mark a pattern to cut. Do one pattern without the tape and one pattern with the tape, like I did, and I'll tell you what, you'll notice the difference. I was blown away. I never would have believed it if I hadn't proved it to myself. I'll just tell you that much, okay? Now, the good thing about the packing tape is if you put it on correctly and you've got your pattern drawn and all of that, if by chance you do need to add a drop of oil here and there, or you do need to stop and cool down the thing, or add a little water to cool down the blade, you never need to worry about your pattern going away because the tape will be there, okay? Um, now, if you get too much on, the tape starts to delaminate because it's only meant to stick so much, you know? That's one of the reasons you're using it. But anyway, just a tip and a trick that I'm surprised I can't find easily on YouTube. Hope you guys make good use of it. Take care.